بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم He says بعثت لأتمم مكارم الأخلاق I was sent to perfect I was sent to instruct I was sent to admonish to advise to teach what is moral excellence and so that those who believe in him those who follow him must enact upon it must live it must not only learn learn is not only something we learn intellectually and then it stays there in the mind but it must be practiced as we have the saying knowledge that cannot be operationalized is nothing but monumental wastage so let us look at the advice of our masters let us let us take let us ascend let us learn the process of mi'raj the process of ascension where we leave this world still being human and do our duties and responsibilities while being human but at the same time we leave this world and all its adornments because that is not what define us let us look at our master Imam Ali alayhi, what he says about being friendly being kind being gentle he says as it is in Ghural al-hikam thamaratul aql mudaratun nas he says the fruit of a strong intellect is what being friendly to people you might be the most educated person the most skilled person the person with the most knowledge you might have even a few PhDs under your name with a lot of titles but a strong person, a strong intellect is someone who's friendly no need to develop I am supreme, I am higher and because I know more I look down on others I treat others in a very bad and condescending manner this is abhorred in Islam Allah don't want this Allah want us to be humble at the same time to be friendly at the same time because when we look at another you look at your mirror image he might look physically different than you but he's made of the same essence of which you are created you created from the essence of Allah which is love, compassion which is magnanimity etc and all of these beautiful sifat and attributes likewise someone else who might not have or was unable most probably due to certain circumstances might not have been educated or know as much as you know that is no reason to treat another human being in a very ugly and condescending manner Islam is teaching us to stand your ground firmly no way we should negotiate on principles and fundamentals but at the same time we friendly we kind we gentle we smile there's no need to have takabur arrogance and conceitedness within the hearts and we know that was the original sin in Islam which was arrogance and ego issues may Allah keep us away from those ugly things and may Allah instill on us what you want us to be is being kind and gentle and friendly and always be a jolly person. May Allah make us of those. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.